I told you the brakes needed adjusting. Sorry about that. I suppose we ought to exchange names. Inverdale. Donald. D.I. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Chuckle. Paul. B.C. Ah, good. I've been expecting you. And you're still here? Now, have you been briefed? Clean pair on this morning. Excuse my associate. Uh, how can we be of assistance? Well, come with me. I want to have a word with a Mrs. Hare. Danny, fix that number plate. So, what happened then? I heard a noise, and when I went into the kitchen, I... Oh, I've never seen such a mess. All splattered and gooey. Nasty. Well, I think we're going to take the remains of the cake down to the lab for testing. I'd only left it by the window to cool, and then... Where's it gone? What? My meringue! The one we've come to investigate? The one that's been splattered by this villain? Must have been stolen. Crumbs. Exactly. In your moustache. You've eaten the evidence. Well, I didn't know. Call yourself a policeman. Paul? Well, I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding on your behalf there. You said you were a PC. Yes, Paul Chuckle. Well, don't worry, Mrs Hare. We'll catch his culprit. And you two, just keep out of my way. Nobody's cakes are safe. Mrs Gardner's gatto was flattened. Mrs Davis's doughnuts were demolished. And as for Mrs Morgan's macaroons... Mashed? Beyond recognition. Oh, I've never known a contest like it. Why would anyone want to do all this? It's the annual cake competition. Brings out the worst in everyone. Ah, oh, so maybe someone's nobbled all the best entries so they can win themselves. What do you think, Paul? Oh, that looks nice. That's Mrs Nixon's. She's won for the last ten years. Get away. Leave my cake alone. Charming. It's only to be expected. There are only three competitors left in the competition. Mrs Nixon, Mrs Robbins and Mrs Grant. No wonder she was so nervous. Do you think we should do something? Don't worry, Barry. Nobody would dare strike while we're around. Oh, oh dear. Emma, did you see anyone? Don't give me that. It was you, wasn't it? You've always been jealous of my fruit nut. I knew I should never have turned my back. We were over there. You're up to something. I know it. Oh, well, where's not want not? <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm. Not really. Are you sure this won first prize for the last ten years? Yes. Why? Hmm. Not that good. Something missing. Fancy yourself as a bit of a baker, do you? No, he just fancies himself. Hmm. Leave it alone! Ow! Oh, I'm going to get the inspector. Hmm. Tell you what, all this cake eating makes you thirsty. Let's go and get a cup of tea. Thank you very much. glass of water. We'll tidy this lot up. What's going on? This is time for action, Barry. Not for questions. Like, who's doing all this? Why are they doing it? Will they do it again? Has anybody seen them doing this? If they do do it again, where will they do it? What will they do it with? I'm glad it's not time for questions, Paul. It's time we did something now. Ugh. It's certainly travelled a fair distance. Oh, it's OK. The police are here. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, we were just walking past, you see. We heard a scream. You were just walking past, eh? Yes. You see, we, um... What's that on your hand? Nothing. The other hand. Ah, Paul accidentally put his... So, you eat the evidence at Mrs Hare's, you're in the vicinity where Mrs Nixon's cake is ruined, and now I catch you at the scene of the crime at Mrs Robbins. Doesn't look too good, does it? Well, seeing as you put it like that. I do. Yeah. Well, it's all coincidental, you see. The reason... This is my best suit. It's very nice. 
It is very nice. It was very nice. Uh, yes, well, we don't want to hold you up, do we? Yeah. Oh. If we could work out what weapon was used to splat the kegs, we'd be closer to catching him. Isn't it going to be a bit messy? No, oh, don't worry, buddy. I'll be all right. What about me? You can do the measuring. I didn't mean that. Right, stand back. Three, two, one. Just over half a metre. The sponge is travelling a good two or three. Well, that rules out joiners and carpenters. Three, two, one. A bit further this time. We're still not far enough. Well, that rules out carpenters, joiners and ping-pong players. We're certainly narrowing it down now, then. We are, aren't we, eh? Three, two, one. Hey, we could be onto something here. Well, that's it, then. That's the weapon. Hmm, I don't know. The handle's a bit short. How could it reach through the window to splatter the sponge? Ah, good point. I was wondering how long it was going to take you to get that worked out. So, it's the right shape, but not long enough. Mm. That's it! What? The weapon. It's the right shape and the right length. What is? The weapon is. It's a satellite dish on a long pole. <laughs> so, hair splattered. Nixon splattered. Robbins splattered. So, Mrs. Grant's the only one left for the non-splattered cake. Precisely. And when he comes to splat it, we'll jump out and grab him. Oh, here we go. Go! The game's up, chummy. Come on, now. There's no need for that. Put it down, or it's bad enough to use force. Hey! Oh! You got it all wrong. Save it. You've been caught red-handed. At least arrest him with some dignity. What? Well, why not put this over him? Then nobody will recognise him. Yeah, well, go on, then. Right. <laughs> so, it's come to this. On the run for a crime we didn't commit. There should be a law against it. Can't go back. Can't go home. Cast adrift from decent society. Can't even do a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. Eh? Well, nobody's going to want a couple of fugitives working for them, are they? Do you know, Barry? Perhaps this won't be such a bad life after all. <laughs> oh, yes. No home, no telly. Mm. No comfy chair, no bed, no popcorn maker, no microwave pizzas. You've convinced me. We're going to have to go back, find the real culprit and clear our name. How? Once we show our faces, they'll be on to us. Well, perhaps it's not Paul and Barry that should go back. Eh? Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce a late entry into the cake-making competition. Baked by the world-famous cake expert, Paulette Pycrost. <laughs> She's entered a super sponge sandwich fruit and nut deluxe meringue surprise with fondant icing and marzipan decals. Lovely, isn't it? And I know what you're saying. It's bound to win because... It's the only entry. It's the only... Because it's so marvellous. And my junior assistant, Barry, Ed, uh, will take the cake and place it on display so you can all have a really good look later. <laughs> the icing is very delicate, so please don't fondle the fondant. Now, ladies, I know what you're saying. Why don't my cakes turn out like that? Well, this afternoon, I'm going to show you how you two can bake a cake to that calibre. And I'd like to dispel a few bits about baking. For example, rock cakes aren't actually containing any rocks. No rocks, no stones, no chippings and no gravel. Purely flour, butter, eggs and bananas. Sultanas? Quite so. Now on with the recipe. First of all, we'll need a large mixing bowl. 
Then put in six ounces of flour. Plain or self-raising? No, madam, flour. Where exactly did you train? In France, in Paris, if you would like to know, in a crockery school. Where? The Louvre. That's an art gallery. I know that, and it wasn't easy, I can tell you. But you... Ah, da, 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 da. Now you add five ounces of butter or margarine. Now a pinch of baking powder to make it rise. I think you're a fraud. How dare you, madam? Just for that, you won't have any. They're imposters. Just exactly what is going on here. Look. We're not cake experts. It was all a ruse to catch the crooked cake crusher. What's all the commotion? We've caught your cake crusher, Inspector. Yes, and it's nothing to do with those poor innocent lads you keep hounding. What? Right. What have you got to say for yourself? Emma! Why? You're a better baker than all of us. Your fruit and nut always wins. Not this year. I forgot the nuts. Of course. I knew there was something missing. Well... Why didn't you just bake another one? Oh, I didn't have time. They take at least three months to mature. I couldn't bear the thought of being beaten this year, so I... Ruined everyone else's chances. Yes. I'm so ashamed. Take it away, Inspector. Wait a minute. Don't I know you two from somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Well, I have to hand it to you. You solved the case, and for that, we're all very thankful. Here, here. Well, ladies, let's all bake fresh cakes and have the competition. Hey, don't mind having a go at that. Look at that. Marvellous. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. It's bound to win first prize. Possibly. Where did that come from? I baked it earlier. You're not going to enter it, are you? Yes. I'm just going to go and find a nice plate to put it on. <laughs> My cake! What's happened? What do you mean? Look! Oh dear, oh dear. The cake splatter is back. I know. I'm looking at it. My meringue! <laughs> oh, so you think it's funny, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now what are you laughing at? That's not my cake. That's my cake. <laughs> Experts, it was all a ruse to catch the crooked, the crooked, crooked, crooked kick. Three, two, one. That's <laughs> real, that. Oh,